The results of the midterm election are still being sorted out in some places, but the jockeying for the White House in 2024 is already underway. Doug Luzader has more from Washington, where the president reached a significant milestone this weekend. The president celebrated a big birthday over the weekend, and there is growing speculation over which Republicans are lining up and hoping to replace him in 2024. I pardon you. I pardon you this Thanksgiving. President Biden pardoning Thanksgiving turkeys last year. Later this morning, he'll do it again. But that follows a quieter ceremony over the weekend when Biden turned 80 on Sunday. That is a first for a sitting president, and he's been hinting that he'll seek a second term. Our intention is to run again. That's been our intention. And while many believe Biden's advanced age is showing, being 80 doesn't exactly make him a rarity among global leaders. If you look internationally, there are dozens of world leaders who are in their 80s. Uh, places like Myanmar, and Cameroon, Saudi Arabia, Norway, uh, Kuwait. You know, his uh, likely opponent in 2024 uh, is uh, is older as well. Donald Trump is just a few years younger than, than Joe Biden. Uh, true enough, Trump is 76, and he was just reinstated to Twitter over the weekend, which could help boost his reach should he decide to use it again. But just as Democratic leaders in Congress, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, are stepping back to make way for the next generation, many Republicans are also looking for fresh faces. You can fight the woke elite and you can win. Over the weekend, the Republican Jewish Coalition met in Las Vegas to hear from some potential GOP contenders. There's already a line forming for 2024. And as far as Biden is concerned, he says running again is a family decision. He'll have plenty of time with his family in the days ahead as they head to Nantucket for Thanksgiving. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.